welcome to another It's Like Science vlog. Today we're going to talk about the Oscars. Whoa, did that happen? Yes, oh, they did okay. happen. Did you go? I did not. So, I mean, I got invited, but I don't know. Oh. You? Yeah, I got so many invites, but yeah, I was like nah, busy yeah, yeah, with other things. Thanks. So, yeah. Some of the big winners of the night were, of course, actresses and Anne Hathaway and Jennifer Lawrence. But one of the biggest winners of the night were wizards. wizards. That's right. Wizards were the biggest winners of the night. They won for best cinematography and they tied for best sound editing. That's um, crazy. You know who can muster up a tie at the Oscars? Who? Wizards. You know who else was a big winner? Who? Chicago. What? Yeah. Wait. I saw it on stage the, uh, the whole Chicago group like five times. That doesn't there. make any sense. I know, it doesn't make sense, but they were there. Congratulations, Chicago, for winning Something. again, I think. Another um, thing I'd like to mention, which was a huge trend on the red carpet. No, not dresses. I'm talking about beards. That's right. Beards were huge they on really the red carpet. Were. And they to really celebrate were. that facial hair, I thought we should play a little game called Guess That Beard. Are you ready to play, Erin? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Try to stump me. I will. All right. Ready? Who am I? Um, Tom Cruise. What? No, it's, it's George Clooney. Okay, let's. Let's try another one. <laughs> okay. Who am I? John Travolta. This is Hugh Jackman. That's okay, one more. One more. You got this, because I believe. All right. Who am I? Bradley Cooper. No, do it. Aaron? This is Ben Affleck. Not that kind of beard. Never mind. We're not playing this anymore. Okay. <sighs> Now let's talk about our favorite opera moments at the Oscars. There were a lot of them. <laughs> my One of my favorite um, opera moments of the Oscars was when Harry Potter and Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth MacFarlane decided to dance on stage for absolutely no reason and they didn't know any of their moves. That was awkward. Uh, I liked it when the guy was trying to give a speech and they started playing the Jaws theme over him. Oh yeah. I was. I was like, don't you know there's a shark coming after you? Like, yeah. get off the stage. Awkward. Scary. Another one of my favorite awkward moments was when Kristen Stewart came on stage and she was like hobbling. And I was like, what's wrong? Like, is something wrong or are you just being awkward? So, because I couldn't tell yeah. what was happening, I decided that was awkward. Another one was Channing Tatum. Where, like, he was just like, I'm gonna be adorable right now. And by that, I mean, put my head down. <laughs> oh my god, he was so That's cute. Not... Yeah, he was like, oh, no, I... And I was like, you're... wait, are we doing adorable moments or awkward moments? I thought we were doing awkward moments. That wasn't awkward. Okay, next, let's talk about um, Seth MacFarlane as a host. Um, mm -hmm. Some people loved him, some people <clears throat> did not. Um, I think he got kind of mixed reviews, but to mm -hmm. test out, you know, how his jokes landed, I'm going to read some of his jokes, and Aaron is going to react. <laughs> Let's do this. This is the story of a man fighting to get back his woman who's been subjected to unthinkable acts of violence, or as Chris Brown and Rihanna like to call it, date night. <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis, your process fascinates me. You were totally 100% in character as Lincoln during the making of the movie. So if you bumped into Don Cheadle on the studio lot, did you try to free him? This is going to be a big night for some of you people because, as we all know, winning an Oscar guarantees a long, successful career in the industry. Look at last year! Jean Dujardin won Best Actor for the Artist, and now he's everywhere! That's actually kind of funny. So that was our review of the Oscars! Yeah! <laughs> we hope it was super informative and you got all the information you needed without even having to watch the Oscars. I definitely feel like if I didn't watch the Oscars, I would know exactly what happened. Yeah, you got a full spectrum going on there. Tune in next week when we probably talk about music you've never heard of. Or video games you'll never play. Or Star Wars while I do this face. <laughs>
different from this hell I'm living. So different.